Are you looking for a semi-free way to schedule your Pinterest pins without a complicated scheduling tool? Well, today's video is just for you, especially if you are a Canva Pro user. So in today's video, I'm showing you the quick and dirty of how you can schedule your Pinterest pins using the integrated scheduling system with Canva. Canva is an approved Pinterest partner, by the way, and I did not include them in my earlier round of scheduling tool review because it just wasn't something that a lot of people were asking for until I published the video and then they started asking for it. So Canva is approved. There are a couple of pros and cons I wanna walk you through before we actually start this tutorial video. The first being that if you are paying Can for Canva Pro, you can essentially schedule any Pinterest pin as many as you want um, for free because you're already paying for Pro. The second pro of using Canva Pro, uh, so meta, is how easy it is to optimize your pins. They literally make you choose a board, put your title, your description, your URL, and then choose a date and a time, and you're done. There is nothing complicated about this. A couple of cons. You can only schedule one design at a time, and I'm gonna walk you through what that looks like in the tutorial video in just a minute, but it you can, that just simply means you cannot create a series of designs in one file and expect to schedule them all. It just doesn't work. And the second con is once the pin is actually scheduled, you can't do anything with that file until it publishes. So if you happen to click into that file and edit anything, once that file is scheduled, it's gonna give you a little, uh-oh, you're gonna mess things up kind of thing. So just know that if you do need to use that design, you're gonna have to use the walk around, which is going into create a Pinterest design and then going to the previous design file in your folders and adding it to that design. If you have questions about that, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely help clear it up. In the meantime, let's hop right on into the tutorial because I know that's why you're here today. So scheduling your Pinterest pins with Canva is fairly simple. The very first thing that you're going, you need to do though is connect your Canva account to your Pinterest account. Now I've already filmed this tutorial like five times and all five times it failed. So I have my Pinterest account connected to Canva at this point. So I'm not gonna disconnect it and reconnect it for the sake of this fifth try. However, it's very simple. All you have to do is click publish with Pinterest and it's two clicks of a button and you have your Pinterest and Canva account connected. Just make sure you're logged into the correct Pinterest account on this Chrome or Safari or whatever window that you're using when you do go to connect it to Canva. Otherwise, it will try to connect someone else's Pinterest account to your Canva if you're a VA like me and you have multiple accesses. So make sure you're, you're logged into the correct one and then click this button and it'll connect. Now, once you have your account connected, I want you to know a little bit of something before you start. If you create pins in a file where there's like a half a dozen of them, like I have in the past, in one file, and you try to schedule those, and then you try to edit that file after you schedule one of those pins, it's going to give you a little alert, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So this was a previously scheduled design and it says post paused because I went in and edited that file in the last time I tried to do this tutorial. And it will pause that post anytime you edit a file with multiple designs in it. So if you create multiple designs in one file, you cannot schedule more than one of those at a time, nor can you make any edits to that design file after that. So you will have to go and make each individual pin its own file in order to properly schedule it so you don't mess up your other work. So just a little caveat there, wanted to make sure that you understood that before you really dive into this because you will end up frustrated like I was when I first tried to do this and realize what you did after the fact. So now let's go ahead and dive right on into actually scheduling your pins in Canva. So all you have to do once you have your Pinterest account connected is click publish to Pinterest and choose your board. Once you have your board chosen, then you're gonna pre-fill in your title and your description and URL. Now, I would suggest having this set up in a system like I have mine. Mine is in my uh, marketing system in Canva, or in ClickUp, I mean. And in this case, I just have my titles and descriptions already pre-written for me. 
in here and I can save and use them again later or revamp them if I would like. Now, there is um, the Pinterest system spreadsheet, which you can also use, or if you wanted to use, just use a Google Doc or something like that, whatever you want to do to track all of that is completely up to you. Um, so the next thing beyond this is to actually have the URL. So I actually accidentally deleted the URL off of that particular ClickUp task. So let's go ahead and find another one so you can see what this looks like. So Pinterest ads strategy. So we're going to go ahead and click schedule and we are going to choose a board. So this one was previously scheduled to promoted pins. So I'm going to put it on a different board and you can see that all the content is already there because I just edited a pre-scheduled file. So we're going to go ahead and click save and schedule, but that's not what this looks like from start to finish. Let's actually see what this looks like from start to finish on this platform. So you have to pre-fill in your title description and then I want to show you what choosing the date looks like. So you're seeing this tutorial from all angles, from a duplicated file, from an edited file, from a paused file. It's actually good for you to see all of the different variations of what's going to happen in a tool like this when you go to use it for the first time. So I put in the title description URL. I chose my board. I chose my date and time. All I'm going to do now is click schedule post. And from here, I'm going to pop back over to the content planner so you can see what this looks like from the content planner. Okay, so this is the previously scheduled and edited file. This is the one with 13 images in it. And then this is the individual one that I made a copy of and I got it out of this big file and scheduled it all by itself. Then you can see this is the one I changed the date on from here. And then this is the one that I just scheduled earlier that was later. And it's also over here from the two other times I tried to do this tutorial. If you have any questions around using Canva for creating and scheduling your Pinterest pins, make sure to drop them down in the comments below. If you're not a Canva user and you'd like to get signed up and get a free 30-day trial to using Canva Pro, I have a link down in the description as well and you can give it a try. All right, so that's it. That's the tutorial. It is really that simple to schedule your pins using Canva. One of the latest features they actually introduced into this, um, into the tool for scheduling is seeing your analytics based on what is happening with that pin or post or Instagram feed story that you scheduled using their platform. So that's actually a nifty feature that I will be reviewing in later videos, but you may pay attention to that in the upper right hand corner next to the share button. You'll see a little graph indicator and that's you can see stats based on what happened with that pin once it was published so a little bonus tidbit there for you in the meantime if you're interested in learning more about pinterest schedulers and you'd like to maybe branch out into something a bit more advanced check out the pinterest scheduler playlist and i'll see you right back here next week